Alright, uh, hey guys. I am going to be showing you a tutorial today, hopefully, on how to build a sort of bone meal system with uh, pet by use mods, which is like the allocator. Um, and build craft, I think those are the only two mods that are used in this. Yeah. Alright, so basically, um, if I change that to normal, and I don't have single player commands, which is why the bed's here and all that, because I was, I was trying to figure out how to build this on my own. This is how it works. Uh, you have three spawners in here. Oh, wait, there's a spawner mod. Um, I don't know exactly what it's called, but... I'll find out and put a link in the description to all the three mods. And you see it looks like this. And if I open up TMI, I can show you. This is Infinity. MP. It's supposed to be like infinite tools or something. So but uh it looks like where is it? Sorry guys. I got uh, Yes, this. You probably saw that. Making it right past it. As you can see, it spawns every single mod. You can make it. Um, in the link, it'll show you some of the uh, some of the uh, recipes you can uh, use. Um, this is a skin. The skin that you're seeing is made by a friend, and he's basically the opposite of what I am. Um. So, this is pretty much all you need to build it. This is here for if I screw up. Anyways, what happens is when they die, the items come through here, as you can see. I don't know why that chicken continues to stay. Oh no. I just remembered something. I turned this off. restart it. And it just takes it and it splits them up when they arrive down here. Um like okay. and as you can see only bones go up that one. And only arrows go up that one. Alright, I need to get out of here. I'm probably gonna play some games. This chicken's very annoying. I need to get rid of him. You see, the water currents always lead it into there. Dang, I probably just recollected them. Water currents always lead them into the thing, and they go through. And you don't need as many. Uh, ah, I forgot to get that. You also need these. I forgot to get one. You only need one. I put uh, others over there just for the fun of it. But um. Somewhere around here. There we go. Alright. And the bones come into this automatic crafting bench, which is made to take the uh, bones and put them in. And because I have three, it does it really fast. And, like, you'll see a mass come out. And, um. It's stored in this chest. And you can use this for, um, I'm gonna go to sleep, but I'll be explaining while I'm going over there. Uh, you can use that and link it up. Uh, you've probably seen automatic tree farms, and if not, I'm probably going to be making a tutorial of that soon. Um, again, 
I'm not gonna do that again, but my video is sort of laggy right now because the machine is running. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. But you can link this up to an automatic tree farm, and it'll use the bone meal from that to make the trees grow, which will make wood. And then you can make them have, like, all going to the chest, and, uh. Basically, I think if I get rid of this. Yeah, and then improve my frame rate a bit. Why are there always chickens down here? That's what I'm wondering. I should probably make it like animal proof and put a roof on top of it. Anyways, this is going to be a tutorial of how to make this system. As you can see, you got a decent amount of bone meal and a decent amount of arrows from it. It just got Skyped. Um, so basically, first off, you're going to need to uh, build a 9 by 9 uh, sort of above ground thing. And I add two blocks onto the end because you need walls there. And basically, all I did the first time around, and I'm probably going to do it for this one too, is you just go back really far. Um, then you build the three pillars of spawning. You don't put anything on them yet, but you put them there. And this is how it looks when you first put in the water. And here's where we're going to need to start using the hammer. Uh, let me go ahead and give myself a shovel too, because... Anyways, first things first. I'm gonna haul this out. Sorry about the laggy. Yes. My computer's being really laggy right now. Because. of, uh. I'm running a server right now. This computer. While recording. Not a good idea. But my friends want it on, so. I have it on. As you see, it's centered. And here's the part where you're gonna wall it off. And if you want an observatory, which is why I have these two glass pans, you're gonna put them right here. Because. If it's like walled off, you can see the entire machine. I forgot to get uh, nine uh, signs, too. You need that for this. Wrong way. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna give myself an infinite stack but because I don't want put into nine different slots. But you need nine. And what you do here is you place them on the sides. And then they have to fall. Then 
to drown them, we did three down. Which man. Actually, no, you need more than nine signs. You need a total of 18. My bad. We put the signs over here this time. Then you dig out a little thing here. And you'll see why I do it this way in a second here. You're gonna want to put two holes in there for later watering techniques. Um, sorry about being so quiet. Basically, you should get enough cobblestone from digging this out or whatever block you're using. Well, cobblestone. You're getting enough cobblestone from digging this out, but um. You don't need to make this super long. I'm gonna end it right there. Oops. Should probably get some torches too. Uh, I didn't think about that. Because my other one is above ground so I don't have to worry about it. But. One there, one there on the other side too. YouTube probably still makes me sound like a small child. I don't know. Generally, YouTube makes me sound really stupid. Um, I really don't know if it's going to again. The center's right here, I think. And here's where you're going to want to put your allocators. Right here, and right here. Oh my god, I keep on forgetting things, but I forgot that you also need to have a bone and an arrow. Alright, that should be the last thing I thought that I forgot. So put a bone in one, an arrow in the other. This makes it so that if you, uh, if they come down and, um, gosh, sorry, loss of words, but if they come down and they cross paths, this one will only pick up arrows and this one will only pick up bones. Next, you're going to want to set up wiring. Wiring is pretty simple. Uh, what I did for mine. So I dug out this little area back here. And... 
here you just set up your little machine. I think I need more than eight redstone, but I really don't know. Put a block there. Yeah, I need nine. So you need nine redstone. It's not a very big cost considering you get four or five. So if you get four from one and one from another redstone ore, you're set up. But you also need your repeaters and a torch to start it. Um, this has to go in a blinking sort of thing. So actually it would be better if you had like ten redstone. Because then you can go like this. Oh, and also right click on those two times, as you can see. And... set set up. Now you need to dig out the piping area. This will need to go to surface. It is currently nighttime. I should probably just make a bed and go to sleep. You'll probably be building this somewhere safe though. This is just my uh, testing world. It's not my main world. My main world I'm playing completely legitly on, but I wanted to make this, like, test out the theory of it working and all that, uh, just to make sure that, uh, it worked before I actually, like, built it. There we go. And there may be some creepers outside. I'm probably going to get screwed over by a creeper. Um, here's where you're going to use your obsidian pipes. And actually, you're going to need three redstone torches. I get, I'm getting the numbers off a bit, too, because I just remembered something. Like three times. <laughs> um... So right here you're going to want to put a redstone torch, because when the obsidian pipes are powered, they're much more efficient. So, and then you put down a pipe, put down these pipes, and this is basically how I always start. Oh. You guys may want to start it differently, I don't know. I'm gonna make this one just come up and store. Uh, actually, which one is that? It's another thing you don't want to do. Uh, forget. This is arrows. That's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. So this one's just gonna come up and immediately go into one of our chests. The other one's gonna go up into a automatic crafting table. Oh no, that's not good. All right, into an automatic crafting table. Um. Oops. In this automatic crafting table, you're going to need. I forgot to get wooden pipes. But you're going to need a wooden pipe. You guys are probably like super PO'd right now. Uh. God dang it. <laughs> um. But when you get this pipe, you put it after the crafting bench because this is going to be what takes the items out of the machine and uh, puts them into your chest. People are still Skyping me. And you can make it like this. Then both chests are linked up. It will work. Um, 
Also, forgot this. You're gonna need one. You're gonna need your crafting recipe in the automatic crafting bench. Which means, yeah, and then you're good to go as far as that goes. I already set up the wiring down there, so it should work. Now we just need to cover up the machine and put in the spawner. Now remember that not all areas are as deep as others. You're gonna need, because of where the spawner is located, since it's in the air, well, actually on another block. Um, you're gonna want to. You're gonna want to uh, God, sorry, I keep on going brain dead. But you're gonna want to uh, I even forgot what I was saying. When you place down the spawner, I'll just start saying something else. When you it may be the same thing. I don't know. When you place down the spawner, uh, you need to be a certain height because when it's right there, you're going to need them to have two blocks on top. So what I do is I just go five blocks above the ground. And... Oops. So basically, when you do it about five blocks above the ground, then they have the spawning room they need. You just need to put in... In the spawners, things will start to spawn. You're all set. Well, apparently the trees want to help us uh, put on a roof. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and Cancel the torches as soon as uh oh. here's where you're gonna wanna put it on peaceful for a second. If you don't want to then you're just taking a bit of a risk, but uh it's not even that big of a risk. Uh, as long as you don't put on the roof. It's a pretty, it's like not even risky at all. But now you're just gonna wanna fill in the roof. If you have trees helping you, you don't have to put in as many blocks. So what's weird about trees is I think they should have some like, like let some let light through, but not all. But they don't let in any light. I mean, I guess that makes sense. If they were like blocky trees. There's no empty spots, right? In case you're wondering what I use to clear out the zone because I don't have a single pair of mass. Why it looks so messy is I used, uh, I have equivalent exchange installed. And I use the destruction catalyst. And it doesn't destroy everything. Um. <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna go down to the system. Probably build a staircase. Hello, that's good. Um, now we need to set up 
the oh, I didn't set up one. This is good because it's still not peaceful. Uh, we're gonna need to take our eleven things that should be water buckets, but alright. Place it down, it makes those other things. We want those to be pure glass. So. Oh, I miscalculated. Oops. I'm actually going to need 15 water. Uh, if you're using an infinite water source, this really doesn't matter because you're not going to be like counting it, but you know, to make it so it bends in the correct direction, you're going to place water and these two holes that we made earlier. So then, all it pushes straight into this, and then it curves, and it comes into this. Um, Now we can. Why I had it set up earlier so that there was a little room is because I didn't want to let in light. So I built like this little hallway thing. You guys don't have to do this. You don't even have to have an observatory. But for some reason, on my other machine, they don't spawn as fast unless you look at me. So yes, if you want to play this and get the uh, spawns, legitimately you can if you have the spawn in mind. So they do let them light. Alright, I'm going to have to replace those trees. See if we can make this jump. Alright, we can't. Oh, it's just so terrible. Alright. So now we're gonna go ahead and Something. Do I remove the torches in there? No, that's not getting up. That's fine. Since we're peaceful, nothing spawned up here. Sorry about the bad FPS. I don't know why my computer's being so stupid. Always have glass beans or else you can get screwed over by screens. That was just stupid. That was just really stupid. Oh no. Alright, I need one to fix this. Okay, that's fixed. Sorry. Sorry about all the problems here. But basically, why I made this is for, first of all, for hunting. Arrows really help. You know, they like insta kill things and two hit kill mobs. Like, uh, I mean, uh, like, hostile things. Anyways. Keep on screwing up. Alright.
Alright, this is the final time. I have everything set up right now. Sorry, it's my second time building it. And I'm not looking at any guidelines or anything. Just judging by what I think I did last time. Alright. Now we just watch. There's another one. I don't know if you guys can see in the back anymore. There's like three in there. You guys can probably see the flames. Maybe the skeletons. And you can probably hear them too. Anyways. As soon as they get like killed, the whole all their items get the allocators. Allocators throw them out. Allocators, the va I mean the obsidian vacuum pipes pull them into the pipe system. Pipes take the bones into the automatic crafting ta table, makes bone meal. We've killed a few. Let's see. Going on outside, I'm probably about to get killed. Oh, I never powered up this. Well, that would have been a big mistake. But as you can see, there's a bone. Going into its little thing. Arrows are already in the chest. Bone just got turned into bone meal. There it is. Whole machine's working. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I know that's sort of a default thing. But, um,. Thanks for watching. As you can see, it works. It automatically stores them. As you'll see in a second, there goes the bone meal. Arrows. And soon I'll be showing you if I can figure out how to link this up to an automatic tree farm. So that the automatic tree farm can go forever. Because it gets saplings from itself. And if it's also getting, uh, bone meal from this and it's infinite wood and you'll never need to leave your house again if you want anyways that's about it i'll see you guys later rate comment subscribe thanks for watching bye